this is not a drill. Space Flight Simulator 2 is coming, and it's going to be 3D. That's right. Uh, Team Curiosity accidentally leaked their own game on their website, teamcuriosity.com. Everything is just going absolutely crazy, and we have the first glance at some of the photos of what is going to be the next generation of Space Flight Simulator. Now, I'm going to go over the photos and what I'm going to take away from those, but I also have some comments that we've been seeing from the forums, etc., and give you an idea that, yes, Space Flight Simulator 1, we're going to call it 1 now, is not dead, but Space Flight Simulator 2 is the new Space Flight Simulator, and it should be able to work on your potato of PC and as old a phone as they can get. So let's get into some of the photos and let's talk about how crazy this is. So the first photo I want to talk about is this one here, a rocket ship in space. There is simply no question about it. This is going to give you a really good idea of what this game is going to look like and what we're doing here. Now, if you're not familiar with Space Flight Simulator, the original one, it was 2D. Um, it looks like they basically have gone and transferred it into a three-dimensional game. And we're seeing that the planet below, which I'm assuming is Earth or Earth-like, has clouds, it has oceans, it has landmass. Um, it does have a bit of a scatter effect to the atmosphere. Um, and we're seeing with the rockets that they are pretty clean cut. Now, there's a couple things that I would say about this rocket is that it actually has wings on it. So there's going to be an aerodynamic component to this game. Um, those are not just there to look good. That we do have solid rocket boosters. We do have a liquid engine. And, you know, it's definitely got stages, etc. So this is a really good start. Start. The next image is this one of a space station. Now, I'm going to just go out here and say this has obviously been done for promotional purposes because there is no way that that little tiny capsule docked with that space station in space, uh, given that there's an RCS balance on the capsule that hasn't been adjusted and the space station itself doesn't, again, appear to have any RCS. But we can definitely see here that the we can definitely see here that we're seeing a really good reflective surface. We're seeing nice detailed models but also if you look back at the forum and discord from a, about i don't know a month ago uh we were actually shown these models in 2d form um and surprise they're actually 3d and we can see here also the cupola has it where it opens up and it has uh the windows and stuff which does suggest that there is going to be animations in here which is really good and uh that means that we're going to be able to see a lot of advanced traits in this game because definitely you would never launch a cupola already opened so by having it showing that it's opened we can say hey yeah it's opened it's flying over the ocean and you know it opens up and you know we can go inside right because obviously we want to go inside, which brings us to this next photo, the inside of a capsule. And yes, we finally have astronauts. Oh my goodness, we have astronauts. They are inside the capsule. This looks like to be the primary capsule of the game. And you can see we have our little astronaut and it looks like there's room for three more. Now, the nice thing I like about this is that we're actually being able to see inside the capsule, but there's also clearly framing and stuff like that for stuff that's being added. So I'm hoping there's gonna be like an IVA or something like this where you can play as the astronaut and move within the capsule. But even if there isn't at this point or when it's first released, there's definitely, um, it's roomy enough that the astronaut can move around, etc. So this has definitely been designed with the idea being that this is going to be Space Flight Simulator 2. You are actually going to be able to simulate yourself in space. You can move around the capsule, you can leave the capsule, and all this other good stuff. It is just amazing because this is, I think, what everybody really hoped KSP2 would be. And Steph and his team have done it with like four people. And uh, yeah, this just looks absolutely amazing and excited to see uh, how this goes because we're not done yet. It gets better because here we are outside. That's right. Our little astronaut guy is now outside the spacecraft. And he even now has a little bit of a jetpack on the back or whatever they call it, ISRU or something like this. Anyway, I'm super excited. Apologies, this is just insane. I wanna get this video as fast as I can. And we can see here that they do have RCSs on the service modules. So this is obviously a later image than the other one that we saw. Um, we can definitely again see the test spacecraft uh, station there. And we have our guy. Now, I don't know how you move from being in the sh ship in the seat without a space pack to being outside the um, ship with a space pack. But hopefully there's a nice transition to that. But it does look really good. And this is really exciting. And you can see here that obviously we can probably RCS around and stuff as this uh, little astronaut's doing. But again, astronauts are here. We're going to be able to 
like launch a real mission they look good um no offense to some other games but um you know it's not super cute friendly but at the same time it's not like unfeeling that looks like a real astronaut and it does a good job i would like to see the astronaut's face or head or whatever but you know as a first picture that that looks good and i'm, I'm happy with that you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think but overall i'm like that that picture does really well and it only gets better from here and by better i mean yes there's a moon and it looks good like we actually have a surface of the moon like we have a surface of the earth we have a surface to the moon it's clearly texturized um and overall this again looks like a much later image than the first two i showed you we see that we have a rocket it's got some coloring and different uh textures on it etc so there's going to be definitely some level of uh uh customization to the rocket but this looks like a rocket that you know wouldn't necessarily land on the moon uh, because we do want landing gear and all that other stuff but it, it's like yeah this definitely looks like it is good to go it looks like they have a parachute it looks like they have the capsule they probably have a heat shield underneath the separator if you play space flight simulator one you know that the heat shields are always underneath the separator units they're not separate um, like some other games have it so yeah no this looks good and we're going to jump into what that looks like if we're on the moon because yes we got moon pictures and not just moon pictures we've got astronauts on a rover on the moon thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you this looks really amazing now there are some takeaways from this i'm gonna say number one we can see that the landscape in the background it's a very hilly place as we expect to see on the moon we can see that there is a texture on the ground we can see that the drivers are theoretically driving on the ground they cast a shadow they're on there they have their little space packs with their uh, packs on it again the astronauts look really good everything looks good but there are a few things i'm gonna say are missing and i'm not saying this in a negative way but in a you know these are pictures and we're not necessarily seeing the final game here but i am noticing that there is no fuel no electricity no solar panels uh no gizmos wizmos etc they do have chairs but there doesn't seem to be anything really making that um rover go so obviously this is again another test phase picture uh where things just work because they need to work and then obviously they'll add in things afterwards but we are seeing that you know so it's gonna be interesting to see how well this game plays in terms of you know all the things that you need to bring with you as the game um complexity progresses or if it's going to maintain that space flight simulator stock um ease of use of saying yeah you can go to all these places but you don't necessarily need to bring along all that junk with you um personally i would prefer to see it i think a lot of other players would like to see it but again being that's 3d being this is absolutely brand new i'm not against not seeing it right now um because i obviously know that you know they have to get the core um mechanics to work first so let's go and take a look a little bit on how that might actually work so you can see here that we have the new build screen. Now, I think these uh, items have been moved slightly for taking a picture, but you can definitely see here that we have the original small capsule, a larger capsule, um, a whole bunch of different engines and engine um, parts. We also see that we also have a lot of fuel tanks, um, different sizes, and we're seeing here that they currently at least go up to five meters in diameter. Um, and this looks really good, and we can kind of really see here that uh, the imaging and the art takeaway is sort of a black and white uh, feel. I don't see a lot of color yet. Um, again, we'll see what uh, happens. And if you are wondering, what about modding? Well, um, Steph has indicated that they are going to potentially look at using the Steam Workshop, which is great because it does mean that they are looking at supporting modding, which is super for me because you know me i really like modding space flight simulator and other space games and being able to mod in 3d uh just want to let you guys in a little bit of a hint here i do actually know how to model in 3d um <laughs> so uh yeah you can expect to see a lot of parts and a lot of stuff coming from me um as space flight simulator 2 rolls out and the modding toolkit and everything else like that um becomes available so definitely hit that subscribe button follow etc because not only will i cover content on the game itself as it comes out i will be doing a bunch of mods and uh yeah people like mods um i will make them we're keeping going let's talk about how to launch a rocket so here's an image of the launch site and yeah this looks a very typical cape canaveral type launch site um we can definitely see there's towers here the towers look like they have lights on them obviously we're during the day they're not going to be on we can see that there is a launch pad and we can see that there's a giant uh, rake up to the launch pad now there aren't any rockets in this shot that's the next shot that's going to come up 
we can see here that yes the rocket gets added in it doesn't look like there's a crawler or anything else that's going to bring the rocket to the launch pad a little bit of a loss of disappointment because it'd be cool if it like came from the vab over but then i'm assuming that you could just build a giant rocket and it might overextend whatever the vab might be so you know to avoid some stuff but you can also see here and this is the important part of why i really want to show this and i think a lot of people might miss this there's a second launch site um, in the background there. Um, the first one that we were looking at is the one in the background. This is a separate launch site that we're at. So there's at least two launch sites in this game. I don't know why there are two, but there are two. There might be more than two, but we know that at the very least there seems to be two of them. And we can see here that here's our little astronaut dude again, and he is standing in full like um, EVA gear on the surface so obviously they can walk around so somebody's taking them for a little bit of a walk i don't know if he's come from the top of the capsule or not because the door isn't open and you know if it's not open maybe he didn't come from it maybe he didn't i don't know but it's one of things of like it looks like he can walk around on the ground so there's a lot of again astronaut specific things that have been made into this game and i'm super excited about that because that was something that space flight simulator definitely lacked was astronauts so Super glad to see them anywhere, everywhere, doing anything and everything because astronauts are amazing. And I do hope that little guy got back in his spaceship because it's liftoff and his spaceship is definitely on the going up route. And yeah, we can see here the particle effects. We can see engine, engine lighting. Um, there's a lot of like really cool stuff that we can see in this image that gives us an idea of how this game is going to play. I'd really like to have some like little video clips I could share with you, but they're not yet available. But you can see here that, you know, hey, that looks good. There's clouds, there's all this stuff. And um, you can see underneath the launch pad, there where the plumes are extending, they're extending into that little um, deflector system there that, you know, yeah, it's it's gonna look good um, when we're playing it and it's gonna play well and that is excellent. We can see again the VAB in the background and we can see another um, building. I don't know what it does, but it's there. But otherwise it's, a, you know, other than some roads and stuff like that, it's pretty plain. I'm, I'm hoping that they're gonna add some more stuff to the uh, Space Center, but overall, you know, what we're seeing so far is they put in the things we need to launch the space and they made it so the game will launch the space and work and that is exciting to see but we also get to see some additional particle effects in the form of re-entry heating which is looking really good you have to remember guys this is supposed to run on a potato of a computer so that looks really good and it's really telling number one we can definitely again here see the planet we can see the cloud layer we can see that there's going to be aerodynamics have already been in place that the plasma is looking Looking good like in terms of like what you would expect it to be doing um we can see here that there's only a small little tiny parachute on the capsule i'm not sure why but you know it's there whatever um and we can see that it is running really well now one thing i will say is because it is working on a potato of a computer that the clouds um as we see here in this next picture with the parachutes actually deployed and again the parachutes look really good um is that the clouds aren't volumetric I'm going to say yet. I'm hoping that they will, or maybe, you know, give Black Rack a, a poke because, <clears throat> yeah, um, I don't see a reason that a lot of that stuff couldn't possibly come over here, you know, steal some KSP modders. Um, <laughs> but it just, it just all looks really good. And again, we're seeing some insights on this image. So when we look at this, um, particularly the parachute systems, we can see the lighting effects on the parachutes, like it's active, it's uh, dynamic. But also if you look really careful at the lines on the parachutes, you'll notice that they are slightly different. So the parachutes are probably dynamic objects. They're not just a fixed semicircle. They're probably wafting in the winds as you come down. The little tiny uh, initial uh, pull drogue shoots um, are, you know, at slightly different angles, which suggests that that's all a dynamic system running in the game. And then we have this image here. That's right. Internal looking at the spaceship with your astronaut, with him floating over what I'm assuming is Mars, and the hatch to the capsule is open. That's right. It's very clearly, you're going to leave your seat 
probably have to get that whatever EVA pack is, um, unless it comes with you on your seat. And then you're going to be able to exit the spacecraft through the capsule door, um, or you can make your way through the docking ports into the space station. I mean, could you ask for more? The answer is, of course, yes, but you're going to have to wait on that because those are all the photos that we have so far. It's now available to be wishlist on Steam.